fuck is here now? That's facts. Oh. And say somebody. Two hours later. We are both in the You say I'm the prize? Yeah, I'm the prize. I'm the prize. I'm the nigga. I'm the prize. <laughs> and when did that happen? That happened a little right after the podcast. Really after the podcast? Yeah. It's that all balled up energy that, <laughs> that he had to dash on. Both. Big Ack is in the building. <laughs> I'm the prize. Some tiny little bitch said, shut up, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I got more testosterone in my pussy than you. Get out, stupid. <laughs> she knocked his hat off. <laughs> Look at the stands. She, this motherfucker been through shit. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. at the stands. Yeah, yeah, she said, I'm gonna get some hits and you yeah. aren't doing shit. DJ Academics trying to protect her. But you know what? If you looked at this kerfuffle, you can't tell who's the bitch and who not. No, you can't. Same height, same weight. I mean, him and the bitch behind him just look like the same person, different wig. <laughs> <laughs> big Ack is in the building. Yeah, you big all right. <laughs> Um, so just to be clear, some people said he was hitting women or whatever. That's not what happened. That was his girl, apparently. And there was some kind of issue in the lobby with the fresh and fit people. All this to say, academics, he been acting a fool, taking a bunch of L's. And I think it's so crazy. He's this brazen and loud with ladies. Like I said before, keep that same energy when you in front of some dudes. Because I ain't never heard you yell at an old man in person like that. No. After we did that video, yeah. I had to go back to that interview with Vic Mansa. Oh, yeah. I had to. Vic Mensa, what did he say? Actually, I really think you're a bitch. <laughs> yeah, and what did he just sit there and say? Uh, in what? In what sense? In what sense? <laughs> I, I, I really, I really think you're a bitch because. In what, in what sense? Because. In what sense? <laughs> he said. In what sense? Oh my god! I think you're a what whole a ass bitch. ball, bro. Yo. But anyways. No, 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 don't waste my camera. <laughs> I'm the prize! I'm the prize! That's what you're saying was, on the inside. It was button. It was button. Yeah. It was button. The best was button. Don't waste, don't waste my camera time. You wouldn't say you wouldn't say that. It wouldn't say that. You know what's fucked up about it and why I said the things I said to you is because were we to be in a room, there's no cameras, there's no security, you see us, you wouldn't make no jokes. Would you make a joke? A joke if, about if, what? No, that was, okay, make, give me some hey, don't waste my camera time. He wouldn't make the joke. You wouldn't make the we joke. wouldn't make the joke. But it's so motherfuckers. That was a great interview. I saw it back again, and I had memories on live like people do. Yo, remember that Kevin Hart skit where he goes up to his room and he starts reminiscing all the stuff he's going to say to his mom the next yeah. time she talks shit? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah. 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 You bitch. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, man, motherfuck. No, that's not. Now, that's imagine it. this is all the niggas that made fun of academics. <laughs> he got pictures of them on the wall. Yeah. And he just stared at them. He's like, you call me fat academics? Fuck you. No, that's not. No, I gotta. No, I gotta talk like that girl. In what fuck you. In what sense? Nah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And no, I gotta. Yo, wait, hold on. I gotta call myself. <clears throat> I'm the prize. No, wait, wait. Shit. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Shit. I'm the prize. <laughs> what was that funny? Yo, nigga, 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 wait. No, no, nigga, wait. Yeah. I'm the prize. <clears throat> okay. I'm the prize. <laughs> Why wait, you look wait. like you surprised yourself? Because I think it's. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm the motherfucker prize! <laughs> I'm the prize! <laughs> Big Hack is in the house! Big Hack! Big Hack is... <clears throat> Big Hack! Wait, don't say that. They might think you're fat. Shit. Huh. Ag Ag is in These influencers are sus. Something smells off. And it ain't waffle fries.
It's today's sponsor, Scentbird. Um, after you wash yourself, you know, you have to wash your booty, you have to wash your beauty, uh, and then you have you want to smell good in front of people. You want to prolong that good smell. Well, I got the thing for you, <laughs> Scentbird. If you don't know what Scentbird is, it's a subscription-based service that allows you to get monthly fragrances sent to your door so you can always smell fresh. The uh, perfume thing is kind of hard because... You spend a whole lot of money not knowing what perfume you wanna you, you wanna buy and what perfume smells good with you. Sometimes you need to wear it the whole day, and you're not gonna spend two hundred fifty dollars on a perfume. Ha <laughs> ha! Sandbird. They send you different samples of perfume per month, and then uh, not, not a little not a little samples that you have. See, it comes in a cool little case like that. It locks. That's wonderful. But all, not only that, I can show you the actual amount of perfume that there is in the case. Look at this, baby. B. A lot of perfume for like a month. Oh, this one is good. Today, they sent me North Atlantic Right Whale by Sanctuary Dark Woods and Mankind Legacy by Kenneth Cole. Boom. Look at this. Three colors, three perfumes. There's even a description in the back. So go down to the link below and use the code AP2 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird on us. I'm the prize. Finish. I'm the prize. King Kong and you're another of me! Alonzo Harris. And that voice, it don't work. I'm the prize, yeah! Imagine all this time, all this time you talk about that girl having a deep voice. Why you why why your voice so high? Why your voice so high? <laughs> Talking like Mickey Mouse up in this bitch. Well, why is that? <laughs> why is that? Why is your voice so high? <laughs> you 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 said it. I'm the man! <laughs> Why you, you talking shit about women having deep voice? Why is yours so high? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you, 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 yo, hitting them falsetto. Ooh, ooh. Let's go, academics. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when all said and done showed up, didn't he look like a child lost at the fair looking for his papa? <laughs> Mm, no, I'm the prize. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that again. Mm, no, I'm the prize. It's me. Bro, who's out here really yelling that shit? That fucking cornball. Oh my god. L l listen, listen. Can we all appreciate these guys who are trying to lead young men and telling them all this and how to run? Okay. These are the women you rocking with. These ratchet women. Ones fighting in in hotel and apartment lobbies with skimpy ass dress. I, hey, you can wear whatever you want, but for high value men who can get the pick of the litter, it seems like you can't stay away from trash. Interesting. All these options, and you can't stay away from the garbaggio. You was climbing on the woman upstairs, talk about you got a fake titties, you got a fake ass. The, have you seen your girl? Have you seen the women you've been bagging? Instagram thotties who've been yeah. passed around hundreds of thousands of times with tattoos and fake everything. And I don't mind. I just think it's so interesting you came at her for that. But the women you fuck all look like that. And if and it's okay, like the girls say, you like what you like. Everybody like what they like. But the fact that you're clowning a motherfucker for the same thing you like, I, try, I, start, I, start, I start to see the pattern here. Hey. And what happened? Hey. Yo, we... you couldn't... you you. It really start to sound like you couldn't get her and she was not interested. So you try to clown her. But you you make a hundred. I'm not saying a hundred percent, but that that's sound like mad sus. Let me ask you. Do you think it's funny that these guys who are coaching young men on women always seem to lose control of all these situations? Yeah. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. A girl I dated could never act like that never. with me in public, nor would she. Never. First off, I don't pick trash. Second of all, I would never kick it with a girl who got no control over her emotions or temper like that in public, who would embarrass me. That's not going to happen. And I don't got to, yeah, I'm, she already know. A player don't got to say he a player. And if you do that shit, I'm leaving your ass right now, right there, there and then, right, right there and then, right on the spot. You ain't got to say what's understood. Bars. You ain't gotta say what's understood. Do not have to say what's understood. I have never, 
ever had to sit here and tell women, I'm that nigga. I've never seen Bill Gates. They talk watch about how I money. move. They be around. They see the stuff they already know. I would never think of uttering those words. I'm the prize. Who are you trying to convince? Someone you already got. The only lame foo-foo people who got to do that shit are folks who ain't really got it like that on the inside. You may have the prize on the outside, but on the inside, you still that lame ass nerd from high school who never grew up and never really got a sense of confidence. You a cornball. That's what you are. Because all the players I ever grew up with never act like this with women. If I'm with a girl, unless she my wife, if we just dating, if she out here just trying to fight people, have a good night. Dude. You a liability. You got to go. After me. You got to go. You, you out here just starting yeah. fights willy-nilly? Yeah. If I'm not breaking up with you then, I'm breaking up with you later that night. You uh, a liability. No, we're we going. I had a girl try to do that to me one time. I know. And it wasn't even that bad. I know. Right? On a first date. Really? We were just walking. Mm. Not the one I think uh, that you posted. Her. Her. Yeah. Okay. I know. That and I said, I thought initially. Because she said something to some stranger we were walking by. Yeah. I said, who are you talking to? And she said, uh uh-huh. I said, listen, if minute. you do that shit one more time, I'm leaving. I'm walking. And we're not going to argue she, about this. She took it as a challenge. She said, really? I said, yeah. She's out here in Los Angeles I was yelling at random people. You know, I said, listen, if you can't hold your liquor, you a liability. She said, well, I'm going to do it. I said, okay, well, bye. And I just left her. Hey, and you know what she did? What was she doing? <laughs> Bro, we're in the middle of a residential area. Yeah. It's about 8 p.m. at night. I'm walking away, middle of the street. And this girl walks in the middle of the street. She's like, you're going to leave like this? Like it's training day, nigga. Alonzo has <laughs> What did she say? Uh, you think you're going to do this to me? Yes. To me? She did that. She did that. And you know what I did? Like the white boy, I just kept walking. So go down to the link below and use the code AP2 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird on us.